Hi there, this is a GCSE mathematics question which involves uh, plotting a quadratic from a table of values using that graph to estimate the minimum value for y and then also trying to find a solution to an equation involving a quadratic and a linear equation using the graph. So to start us off we've got a table of values to complete. Um, in order to do that we're going to need to substitute x equals negative 1 and x equals 2 into our equation. So if we start off with the easier one, which is if x equals 2, y is going to be 2 squared. And the reason I put these in brackets is to make sure that if you put them into the calculator, um, the calculator gets it right. And that's particularly important for when we substitute negative 1 in a moment. So we've got 2 squared, which is 4, minus 3 times 2, which means we've got minus 6 and then plus 1 and that comes out as minus 1. For the second one if x equals minus 1 then we end up with minus 1 squared. Now this is the problem if you just put that into your calculator without the brackets it will square 1 and then make it negative which is incorrect because you're meant to be squaring negative 1 so that means negative 1 times itself a negative times a negative will come out as a positive. We're also going to have two negatives multiplied together here and that gives us negative 1 squared which is 1 minus 3 times minus 1 which is plus 3 and then plus 1 on the end and that gives us 5. So in here we've got 5. If you have got these values wrong it should become fairly obvious when you come to plot them on the graph because you should find that your parabola shape is not quite right. So we now need to plot these points onto our graph. So when x is negative 2, y is 11. So when x is negative 2, y is 11. Uh, when x is negative 1, y is 5 when x is 0, y is 1 when x is 1, y is negative 1 when x is 2, y is also negative 1 when x is 3, y goes back up to 1. And when x is 4, y is 5. Now what that does is that gives us, I'll try my best to draw this in as accurately as I can. We're looking for a, a smooth parabola shape. You should be able to do, hopefully, a more accurate job than I can with this equipment. So that's roughly our shape. Not my proudest moment for drawing graphs, but I hope you um, understand the concept. It then says use your graph to estimate the minimum minimum value for y. So that means that what we're going to have to do is have a look at this bit over here. So there's the minimum value there, and if we draw across, then you can read from the graph and, and make a judgment about where you think that value of y is. Now, according to mine, that looks to be negative uh, one point in each. We've got one, two, three, four, five divided, so negative one point four, according to my particular graph. The one you're given in the exam is, is obviously larger and it allows you to be more accurate than that. The next question says use a graphical method to find estimates for the solution to the equation. Now you should notice that you've got x squared minus 3x plus 1. So that's the equation we've already drawn uh, and actually would make more sense for me to reference this one in red. Now in blue we've got a, it's equal to a different equation which could be called y equals 2x minus 4. So that's what we're going to need to plot is the equation of 
y equals 2x minus 4. Um, in order to do that, we need to have a think about where that goes through the y-axis first of all. So y equals 2x minus 4 will go through the y-axis at minus 4. And for every 1 it goes across, it will go 2 up. 1 across, 2 up. And it will continue on that trajectory there. So that particular line there is y equals 2x minus 4 going through the y-axis at 0 minus 4 and because the gradient is 2 if you go across 1 it will go up by 2 across 1 up by 2. Now we have to look for this solution to where x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 4 well that will be the points where these two lines cross so we've got a point here and here it's asking for the x values so we're going to need to draw a line down and decide where we think those values are and a line up to there so looking at these particular ones it appears that we've got uh, 1.3 and 3.7 the last bit is a trickier bit but there's an 8 mark question there and if you can start to make progress on some of these trickier plotting questions and it gives you a lot of marks towards a high grade I hope this was useful thank you for your time